Hi, what's up, y'all? It's popping. It's D. About to react to this vid by It's Blanco. This is the most disturbing movies to ever exist. Please, please share because I want to watch them. I see the human centipede in the thumbnail. I have heard about that movie. I even know what it's about, but I don't think I want to watch it. It doesn't sound like it's going to be interesting. It just sounds like they're going for shock value. And that's the thing. I don't like when movies rely on that. Don't rely on just shocking me or just being super disturbing just for the sake of being disturbing. Have a good plot, a good storyline. Like, you know, keep me interested in what's happening. But anyway, let's see uh, what movies he lists on here. Let's watch. The most disturbing <laughs> movies to ever exist. Pink Flamingos is a movie from the 80s about a person that is trying to be the filthiest person alive. There is one scene in the movie where he eats dog feces and it's not fake. This man literally ate dog shit for the movie. Literally, why the f would you do that? That is just not necessary. A Serbian film is a movie about a struggling about actor that agrees to be in an art film, and boy oh boy does this backfire. Literally half of this movie is just people being R-worded, including a baby. Yes, I am not joking. Okay, there right. is a scene that depicts a baby being R-worded. There are multiple scenes in this movie that could literally be classified as CP, and they wonder why it's banned in 46 fucking countries. The poster for this oh, movie wow. is literally so gross, I can't even show it. Necromantic is a movie about a couple that that's into dead people, if you catch my drift. The boyfriend brings back a dead, dead body people? from his job, and they um have fun with it, if you know what I mean. And that's oh. basically the whole movie, just two people doing it with a dead guy. Now, I know Ew. most people know about the human centipede, but that's two? not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the sequel, which is way fucking worse. In this movie, the human centipede is 12 people instead of three. And this time, we watched the entire horrifying medical procedure in detail of this guy attaching people's mouths to other people's you-know-what holes. Yeah. There's a scene where he feeds the head of the centipede laxatives, and I'm pretty sure you all know where that goes. There's also a scene where the doctor wraps his you-know-what in barbed wire and then R words a woman who is in the back of the centipede. Yeah. There's also a what? scene where a baby's head is ran over by a car. All right. I, I, I don't know why. This movie is equally disturbing as it is just straight up terrible. But oh yes, what the there's a no, third one. And a... surprise, surprise, it's way more fucked up. Because instead of 12 people, this time it's 20. a whole fucking prison in the beginning of the film there's a guy who is eating dried c-l-i-t's yes you're hearing me right in one scene a guy gets dried waterboarded with boiling water a man's s-a-c-k is cut open with a knife and then his you know what's are cooked and eaten and we're only like 20 minutes into the fucking movie what? it gets so much worse when they do the medical procedure for attaching people's mouths to their you know what holes because they show even more detail and much bigger close-ups and don't even get me started okay, on when they see. actually <laughs> reveal the 500 human centipede below are 120 days of i gotta Sodom see it i gotta about see it italian fascists that kidnap a group of teenagers and torture the shit out of them mentally physically and sexually for 120 days this movie is banned in so many countries because of just how fucked up it is in the movie the kidnappers torture the teenagers by r wording them repeatedly in extreme detail, oh, force them either. to eat their own feces, cut out their tongue and eyeballs, force them to eat food that has nails in it, which makes them bleed out of their mouths, and so much more. While there are a lot of very interesting, deep meanings in this movie, no. it's still really fucked up and you shouldn't watch it. Cannibal Holocaust has a pretty self-explanatory title. I literally mm. had to censor this movie poster because I couldn't find a single one that wouldn't get this video taken down. The gore of this movie is so fucked up that the director actually got arrested because police genuinely thought that the murders depicted in the movie were real. Because the movie was in the style of a mockumentary, the director made all of the actors who played the murdered characters not appear in any public press for a whole year after the movie's release to really sell the authentic experience. Oh my god! Did not help him look innocent at all. The director and all the actors what literally the had to show up in person to court to prove that he did not murder them. Butter Vama Dolls is one of the most atrocious creations to ever come out of human society. This movie is the first of a series called the Vomagore Trilogy, but I'm going to be making several separate videos for each one of them because there is just so much going on in each of them. I couldn't even tell you the plot of this movie because there really is like none. Half of this movie is literally just fucking vomit. It centers around this 19 year old stripper who became a prostitute and is having these weird hallucinations, I guess. She brags a lot about her ability to be able to vomit without sticking her fingers down her throat. 
which we see quite a lot of. Literally in the first five goddamn minutes of the movie, someone gets their eyes stabbed and yanked out. In one scene, a random guy chops off the main girl's arm, and then he uses the fingers of that cut-off arm to shove down his throat. He then vomits into a cup, and then drinks the vomit right, so that he can right, make himself vomit right, let's again, move on. and then keeps on doing that. It's just this endless cycle of consuming and spewing vomit, and it happens for no fucking reason! There's another scene where a guy no. Off a girl's head, and then eats her brains, and then vomits all over her. And yes, it's quite fucking graphic. And that's only like one quarter of the goddamn movie. This is actually one of the shittiest movies I've ever seen. <laughs> Not because of how gross it is, but because it makes no fucking sense. I feel like I was watching a random video off of the dark web than an actual movie. Like, I think the director just wanted to make something to piss off society. The whole thing ends with the girl unaliving herself. And that's it. Yeah, By the way, the sequel is way fucking worse. There's I'm gonna sequel? talk about that in the next video. Yeah, hey, I'm talking about oh Rick Gorgeous Sacrifice. This is the second movie in the Godforsaken Vomit Gore trilogy. It's a trilogy! It's immediately from the first movie, I want to skip this. Dolls, in which the protagonist <laughs> ended her life. In this movie, we're seeing her experience through hell, which is kind of what it felt like trying to watch this shit. Most of the plot of the last movie was just pure vomit. Nah, I don't want to hear about vomit. This, I can't. This movie barely even constitutes as art. It's literally just random gross shit and has her face <laughs> it's a real life i don't want to hear my mom that could possibly make not one but three of these traumatizing atrocities august underground is about two psychos that document the really fucked up shit that they do to random people and they really do not hold back on their victims at all and since the whole thing is filmed on a camcorder it makes you feel like it's a real really? life snuff film one of the victims has their nipples cut off and has her face smeared with her own urine and feces this is the first victim of the movie by the way there's also a scene with a guy in a bathtub with the schlong cut off so that's nice guinea pig is a japanese movie from the 80s and it's about a group of guys who abuse the living fuck out of a random woman for over 40 minutes straight in the movie they do some really messed up things to her like ripping off her fingernails and pouring boiling oil all over her one of the most disturbing scenes was when they stick a needle directly through her eye that that was not very fun to watch and what the crazy thing is that there's really no plot with this movie they just felt like doing this all to a random woman Angels of Melancholy was so goddamn disturbing that I actually prayed for the first time in my life. I don't even know where to begin. A man straight up just goes number two on a woman. A woman straight up vomits semen. A nun pleasures herself in front of everyone. There's multiple scenes of people being R-worded. In one scene, a pig is brutally slaughtered and tortured, and it's not fake. In fact, many other animals like cats, rats, and frogs all get brutally murdered in this movie, and they're not it? fake. That's why this movie had restrictions on it being distributed. Guinea Pig 2 is a movie about a man that kidnaps a woman, murders her, and dismembers her. And for an 80s movie, it's actually pretty realistic. In the movie, you can hear all the bone snapping and organ squishing and all that good stuff. This movie was actually so realistic that Charlie Sheen legitimately thought it was a real snuff film and reported it to the FBI. Eventually, all copies of the film were withdrawn and taken off the market, which the writer and director himself said was a success. You guys have been on my ass getting me to talk Talk about Tusk and Jesus fucking Christ. This movie is kind of like the walrus version of the human centipede. It's about this fucked up scientist that kidnaps that a guy nigga. and wants to turn him into a walrus. Yes, that's like the actual plot. And he successfully does it, sort of. He does this by forcing him into a walrus costume that's made completely out of human skin. And as you can see right here, it's not very flattering. And seeing this man being forced to act like a walrus while being that's trapped in this extremely disturbing suit is not very enjoyable to watch. This movie is equally disturbing as it is just straight up terrible. It may not be the most disturbing thing I've ever seen, but I'm never gonna be able to look at a walrus the same ever again. Like, watching the scene of this guy you. being forced to eat mackerel is just something that's never gonna leave my head. I also have no idea how they got Johnny Depp to play such a big role that's in this Johnny movie. Depp. Like, that genuinely impresses me they were able to convince him to star in this stupid the shit. The first or guy the was die he's is gonna the most fucked up animated movie to ever come out of Human good. Creed. I, I don't even know where to begin with this one. A kid named Tommy is encountered by this evil dog named Labby, who tells him that he must kill his mom because his unborn brother is the Antichrist. But when Tommy decides not to kill his mom, the evil dog decides to bite off his father's schlong. Tommy's parents get killed, so how does he try and bring them back? Well, him and the dog 
do it on top of the parents' dead corpses. This is only the first fucking chapter. In another chapter, a frequently what abused kid with a Siamese twin has a really big crush on a girl from his class. So, he goes to visit the house and talk to the dad. And what does the dad do? Well, he shows him a videotape of the daughter being molested and makes him watch the tape repeatedly. And then the dad makes him do it with the daughter while he films. And when Ralph, the boy, comes home, he sees that his dad is watching the tape. And the dad casually admits to molesting his crush, which causes Ralph to murder the entire family. Um, <laughs> I I could have went the rest of my life with, without hearing the description of, of some of these movies. What in the entire fuck? Where are these movies even being played? I'm sure he had to, like, really search for them. Obviously, they're not on Netflix or anything like that. Well, actually, The Human Centipede might be on, like, Netflix or something. I might watch that because I've heard of it so many times. Um, and the fact that there are three parts, you know, people people must fuck with it. So, I might check it out. It sounds really disgusting, though. But I, I might have to check it out. I got to see what the hype is about. But the rest of these movies, they, they can go to hell. Like, I, I, I don't want anything to do with them. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!